might. Well, it, it happens, however, that he loves you and I love someone else. Who? The Count Lorichel, whom we met in Paris. Oh, yes. That might be. Yes, he would be just your sort. <laughs> My head's in a whirl. I, I don't know what to say. I... Yes, I would like to be married and live in New Orleans. But Monsieur André lives in New Orleans, too. Fufu, I beg you. Well, if you are so serious, I'll be serious, too. Monsieur George, Monsieur, Monsieur André, Monsieur George... You idiot! You can't leave a thing like this to chance. Louis, do you really fear... Do you really think Monsieur George and I could be happy together? I think that he would be too happy with you for you not to be happy with him. I don't know. I'm not sure. But you are so much wiser than I am, and, and you advise it then, huh? Surely. Surely it's the best thing for you. And he wishes it. Yes. I advise it. So be it. And he'll have to thank you, my darling Louis, whether he's happy or miserable. And I shall tell him so. Come. Oh, dear. There's no reason for that long face. Fufu has something to tell you which will make you very happy. Mademoiselle, you really... Yes. Yes, she'll really promise to love, honor, and obey you, monsieur. That's a great load off my mind, I can tell you. If you only knew how glad I am. Bless you. Bless you both. We didn't know you was home. This sort of thing can't go on in the house. Well, tell this filth to stay out of my kitchen. Then ask him what you been doing with the missus' keys. Ask him. Then ask him who's been in the wine room lapping up all your good wine. Where are the keys? I put them down somewhere to your steady. Yeah, I just picked them up. Don't to be laying around. You're perfectly right. They shouldn't. Now get back to your work, all of you. And if you can't stop this fighting, you'll all be sold, understand? Yes, Martha. Yeah, you picked them up. Yes, yeah, you picked them up. Oh, Peg. This is the third morning now. I haven't seen Master Georgie before going to my office. Why is that? Well, that's Sophie. She likes to sleep late. And I reckon she ain't got him dressed yet. Is she a good nurse? I expect she ain't no worse than any other city trash. Well, keep an eye on her. And the boy, too. I try to keep my eye up on what you wear in this house, Master. But Missy too nice. That's all that's wrong here. Child's feet are like ice, she'll bear. Oh, put him in bed with me. They'll get warm. Well, he should have been dressed and had his breakfast an hour ago. Don't scold us. We won't listen. Oh, yes, you will. There are a lot of things I want to say to you. <laughs> I 
hope someone comes. <laughs> Come in. The theater man just give me these pictures for you, Missy. The sketches for my costumes. Come on now. Take him back to the nursery. Dress him yourself and give him his breakfast. <laughs> Go with Pete, darling. Give me a kiss. Now you can steady a kiss. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Now you kiss me. Here we are. I knew George could persuade you. And here's Georgie. Yes, come. And Give Aunt Louise a kiss. No! Oh, he'll get used to you. For now that you are here, we're going to keep you. Aren't we, George? Even if we have to lock you in. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, give me the keys. Who has them? I got them, Missy. From now on, you are taking orders from Mademoiselle Louise. As if this were her house. Do you understand? Yeah, yes. Yes. All right, and here are the keys to everything. You'll be more careful with them than I've ever been. I'm sure of that. But, but I don't want them, Fru Fru. Oh. Keep them. Now let's get these things upstairs. Where are we going to put Louise? Next to the nursery. Come. Now you sit still and let Pig get you undressed. Because if you don't, them witches will come in and get you. Where do they live? Oh, there's everywhere. I'll stand the dark looking in and listening. <laughs> all right, all right. Keep on crying. Them witches will come in and get you show if you don't behave yourself like a good boy and go to bed. Pick. What has Monsieur told you about?